Welcome to Steady Digesting Solution. My name is Bharat Sharma, and today we talk about the safety in melting and uh, during handling. So, one of the most important responsibility of metal handling personnel is safety. When working with molten metal, it is important that the safe handling practices are established and uh, rigidly enforced. And uh, where in this video we are going to explain the important to prevent water and moisture from being added to molten metal and uh, we also try to uh, list out the safe procedure to follow to avoid problem arising from water and moisture and uh, one more thing we are going to identify in this video uh, the key safety procedure to follow when the handling molten metal right so this is this video will uh, important uh, in which uh, the information you can use to explain the importance of uh, following safe procedure when handling molten metal all right so uh, water uh, and molten metal so all molten metals are blow or splatter when they come in contact with water but aluminum and magnesium are the worst when water is converted to steam it expands to 2500 times its original volume it's too huge additionally aluminum can combine with moisture or humidity to form a hydrated oxide the hydrated oxide of aluminum uh, in chemical terms you can say l2o3 can hold eight molecules uh, of chemically combined water and in chemical terms you can uh, right like uh, l2o3 with h2o such water uh, may be released when the hydrated oxide temperature exceeds 800 degree fahrenheit or when it is submerged under a molten metal bath this is why preheating is so important when uh, metallic charge is extremely uh, important so here you can uh, uh, there some images we have attached right okay so there some safe handling procedure and uh, follow the same safe handling procedure to avoid a uh, problem arising from moisture and water so never charge anything wet under the surface of molten metal and coat all tools with the suitable molten aluminum resistant refractory coatings Preheat tools to 300 degree Fahrenheit minimum prior to use, and preheat all in lot and scrap whatever you are melting. You are going to melt in your uh, melting furnace to at least 800 degree Fahrenheit. Store all in lots and scrap in dry place, right? And uh, if we uh, you know uh, talk about some uh, safety clothing. So safety glasses with the side shield and safety clothing made uh, from non-synthetic material should be uh, worn at all times when working around molten metal. We are products that uh, are made of cotton or wool. Do not wear polyester material since they melt rapidly when the, they come in contact with molten metal. So this can cause serious burn as the polyester material stick to the skin when the clothing is removed. You no, know, if you polyester material, uh, polyester uh, clothing removed, uh, the skin is also removed. So this is very dangerous if you are wearing polyester uh, clothing when you are um, working around uh, molten metal. So it should uh, it should be very dangerous. Okay. <coughs> So here we have some key safety reminders. Although there are many safety tips, and these are key to working safely with molten metal. So we start with the uh, from the first one, and do not charge wet scrap into molten aluminium. Do not add unknown material material that bear wet or crusted flux compound to furnace. Use tools that are coated and preheated. Do not quench saw or ingot with water. Uh, saw is the one of the form uh, you can say it's a bigger form of uh, ingot. So do not quench saw or ingot uh, with water. Do not wear clothing made of polyester or synthetic material. Do not coat tools or iron holding parts with the calcium containing product. This increases the chance for explosion as calcium compound readily collect and absorb moisture. 
do assume that all metal and equipment around a furnace is hot do preheat all soap in hot and scrap and do wear clothing made of cotton and wool do wear safety glass with side shields do wear shoes that can be kicked off not light if metal get into the shoe it must be removed quickly to minimize burn do we a high temperature resistant face shield when uh, drossing or uh, charging a furnace or degassing a furnace or ladle we are the safety equipment furnished by your company always uh, we are gloves when handling metal to prevent cut and burn aluminum at 700 degree fahrenheit looks the same as it does at room temperature do not put batteries or a sole can in a scrap container that will be charged into a furnace they explode like a bomb the many companies do not allow a spray can to even uh, be used in their plant all right so uh, these are the some key, uh, key safety uh, reminders safety uh, uh, when you are melting or handling magnesium alloys so magnesium molten metal safety procedure are similar to those uh, we have earlier uh, you know discussed in this video for aluminium however use extra caution and concern and liquid magnesium burns in air uh, readily and is therefore usually melted and transported under a protective cover gas never use water around molten magnesium or on a magnesium fire also do not use the same tool and pots for magnesium that are used for aluminium be sure not to use scaled or rusted iron if iron oxide is present an explosive thermite reaction magnesium reducing iron oxide which result finally never smoke in an area where where magnesium is melted so if we summarize this uh, video so it is essential that you have uh, you follow the procedure at all times when working in a manufacturing facility or uh, when you are uh, around melting furnace or molten metal the safety procedure listed in this uh, video are general good practice that are also especially protect you when handling molten metal so thank you thank you very much keep learning till death